The required equipment for the capsule prescription are medium or small weigh boats, ointment paper with tape so you can tape it down, a glass mortar and pestle, a metal spatula, a rubber spatula, empty gelatin capsules, and a prescription bottle to dispense the prescription. You are now ready to open your hydrochlorothiazide capsules to get the active ingredient capsule powder. You are now ready to weigh your active ingredient capsule powder. Remember to tear your scale with a clean weigh boat prior to weighing your capsule powder. Weigh the required amount of lactose. Place a medium weigh boat on your scale. Tear the scale. And then weigh the required amount. Being sure to get within 5% of your target weight. Place the required number of propranolol tablets into your glass mortar. You are going to triturate to a fine powder. Initially, it's going to take a downward turning motion to start to break up the tablets. Don't stop here. You still need to triturate to a fine powder. If you need to scrape the powder down from the sides of the mortar, use your plastic spatula to move the powder back to the center of the mortar. After vigorous trituration, you will have a very fine powder. There is no need to add additional food coloring since the propranolol tablets are already colored orange. Add the hydrochlorothiazide powder to the propranolol triturated powder and triturate until uniform. Continue to triturate until you have no white streaks and the powder color is uniform throughout. Again, if you need to scrape the powder down, use your rubber spatula. Geometrically add the lactose powder and triturate after each addition. The resulting powder should be uniform in color with no white streaks visible. Now get a piece of ointment paper and we will tape it firmly down onto the work surface. You are now ready to place the powder onto your ointment paper. 
use a rubber spatula to retrieve all the powder from the mortar. Using two large spatulas, you want to block the powder, having the spatulas flat against the counter, and move the powder into a rectangle or square shape. Once you have it into a rectangle square shape, use one spatula to press firmly on the powder to compact it. You can use your fingers on the top of the spatula to create some force. The powder bed is now ready to punch capsules. Now get your scale ready for weighing. Place a medium weigh boat and an empty capsule the same size that you're going to use in your prescription and tear the scale. Remove the empty capsule. Please note your scale will read a negative number. This is the weight of the empty capsule. You are now ready to punch a capsule. We're now ready to punch the capsule. Get an empty capsule and remove the body from the cap. The body is the longer portion and the cap is the shorter. Place the cap on your ointment paper and use the body to fill the powder. Go from the side and then put the capsule in the powder and then use a quick punching motion to start to fill the capsule body. Replace the cap gently onto the body, not pushing all the way, and now check your capsule for weight. When I see the weight, I notice that it is too heavy so I need to remove some powder. So I'm going to remove a little powder, place the cap back on gently, and check the weight again. It is now within my 5% error. Take the capsule and press it firmly together until you feel a click. This will lock the cap onto the body. This capsule is now ready to be dispensed after it is polished. Before we can punch our second capsule, we need to re-block our powder bed into a firm, compact bed. So using the two large spatulas again, re-block the powder into a square or a rectangle, and then using one spatula, press it firmly down again. Take an empty capsule, remove the cap from the body. Again, go in from the side to your powder bed and then quickly punch. Replace the cap gently and check your capsule for correct weight. It is too light, so we need to add additional powder. So remove the cap. Go back into your powder bed and punch till you have additional powder. Replace the cap and check for weight. It is now too heavy. So I will need to move, remove some powder And again, check for weight. Once you get within 5% of your target weight, you need to remove just a little bit more additional powder.
We are now at target weight, so we can close this capsule. Remember to push it together until you feel the click. It is now ready to be dispensed. An alternative method, when you don't have very much powder left at the very end of your capsule punching, is to use the scoop method. Place your large spatula to the side of the powder bed and go from the side and use your spatula to move the powder and compact it into the capsule. Again, you would check your capsule for the correct weight, place the cap onto the body, and check for weight. This has too much powder, so I would need to remove a little powder, and then check for the correct target weight again. It is now at target weight, so I can close this capsule, pushing the cap and the body together till it snaps together, and place it in my weigh boat for dispensing. You will need to polish your capsules prior to dispensing. Take a soft cloth, Kleenex, or chem wipe, and remove the excess powder from the capsules to shine them. Go ahead and cap your prescription bottle. It is now ready for dispensing. Remember to dispose of your excess powder appropriately.